Welcome back, everybody, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. I know I said I was going to take some time off between Christmas and New Year's, but uh, as I expected, there's a couple of news items that are coming out. First, there was talk about from Cliff High. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, do your homework on Cliff High for now. Watch his last couple of videos, and I'll talk about that tomorrow. But for today, I want to talk a little turkey. And the reason I want to talk turkey is because turkey, let me share my screen. Uh, Turkey is uh, just try to slip some news out there, and I think it's very, very important. So there we go. So just a little bit of uh, DuckDuckGo. Uh, you can find that Turkey President announces a new tech bill. So let's see. So if I go over to this tab, Turkey President announces the cryptocurrency bill. So what's going on in Turkey is that they're trying to save their, their current their currency, which is the the Turkish lira. The lira has been having a lot of issues against the dollar of late. And it's it's to the point where it needs something done. So what what they've done is they've done two things over in Turkey. And it's going to be significant. I'll I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. But what Turkey has done, um, the president, I think it's Erdogan is how you say it, uh, is uh, he's proposing a new... Uh, adoption of crypto that to make it legal if it's if crypto is not legal as tender or payments uh, in turkey but it can be viewed as an asset so if that gets uh, approved then you could see a lot of turkish lira head into these other currencies because what's happening right now is that uh, turkey's economy is is not doing well against the dollar and people are looking for a hedge they're you know allowed to buy cryptocurrency you know about to buy you know allowed to buy bitcoin yet but what people are doing is they're getting onto these exchanges and they're swapping lira for a stable coin uh, equivalent of, of the U.S. dollar to try to get out of the Turkish economy. So as you can imagine, that's wreaking some havoc with Turkey. So what they've done, first thing that they did, and I'll share this video as well, but um, they they established a new currency policy. Well, basically what they've done is they've essentially made a one-year staking bill for liras. Uh, think of it as a CD, um, but basically what they're offering people is you get a thousand, you get 13% interest if you stake uh, Lira. So what you do is you buy a Lira or you have a Lira, you buy this uh, instrument called a CD, and you get 13% of your Liras back in three to 12 months. Um, preference is 12 months right now. And, and the, what they're offering as an additional hedge is that not only will you get 13% more of your Lira back, but if at the point in the future where you are going to cash back, get your returns back, if the dollar is stronger than the lira, they'll pay you in dollar equivalents instead. So they'll go back and say, you put in a thousand lira, say on January 1st, 2022, on January 1st, 2023, they will say you either get 1300 lira or whatever a thousand lira uh, would be worth today, going back to what it, you would bought the US dollar at on January 1st, 2022. So it's basically a hedge against the dollar and also against Lira. So you're basically playing two against one uh, and you're basically staking your Lira and, and trying to support the Turkish economy. Now, a lot of people in the Turkish economy are going to do that. Let me stop the share and wrap this up real quick. Um, but what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to take, the, their, if they want to stay the money in the Lira, especially companies, they'll stake their, their Lira, they'll, they'll put it there, they'll get that 13%, hoping that they, they'll get paid back. Also that the dollar... The dollar is still the dollar lira exchange still exists in a year, so really it's a hedge against you know they're, they're kicking the can down the road and saying that um, maybe the lira will get stronger, maybe the dollar will weaken, maybe the dollar will have issues. All these different things are pushing the issue out for a year, and if if let's say in a year from now it get crazy and a uh, thousand lira is worth ten thousand lira against the U.S. dollar a, a year from now. What the central bank will just do in, in, in Turkey and what they don't want to do, what they're trying to avoid now, is they'll just print more lira, which will hyperinflate their economy. But they're trying to push this hyperinflation down the road by creating this, this debt instrument, this uh, hedge vehicle that they're creating, where you can buy, you can put the Turkish lira and get 13% or more uh, in US dollar terms, because everybody knows in Turkey that they want the dollar over the Turkish lira because everything priced in lira is inflating at an incredible rate. So that's what's going on in Turkey. Now, why is that important? Turkey is not a top 10 economy yet, but it's getting better and stronger. Um, They're also heavily tied into NATO and European Union countries. So if they 
adopt a cryptocurrency policy, making that an asset where people, this is bigger than, than El Salvador. So as Turkey winds up doing this, now you have a large, uh, another large nation state that is has an official policy to accept cryptocurrency and, and keep it as an asset. So look for more and more countries to tip into this structure. Look to, to what the Lira has done and what they've done with this instrument to keep that central bank issue can issue down the road. I guess they issue more, but basically they're pushing off that central bank issue as long as possible. Again, I said it again. So that's what's going on in Turkey. It will impact the U.S. and European nations because Turkey is tied to those economies. So when one nation state does it and they're tied to other ones, it will ripple through them accordingly. So I told you that when news would be buried between Christmas and New Year's, and here's just one more example. So with all that said, I'm going to close the drawer on the bureau, remind you to watch some Cliff High, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. But until then, follow the leader, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah.